Welcome to an enlightening podcast from IslamPodcasts.com. We encourage our listeners to please comment and let us know how we can grow in our knowledge to better serve our community. Please remind your family and friends to also visit IslamPodcasts.com for engaging discussions on current events, Islamic guidance, Quran, Tafsir, Sirah, and much more. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Death, destruction, devastation Words describing natural disasters These events are often rationalized through science with detailed scientific explanation Although we are encouraged to understand our surroundings in various natural phenomena It is crucial that we understand that everything originates from the Creator Any catastrophe or good fortune is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Creator Although our hearts feel sorrow from the results of tragedies, no matter who they impact, our rational minds must be connected to understanding that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the giver, al-muhyi, and the taker, al-mumit, of all things. The Quran and Sunnah are our guidance for life, and from these sources, there is clear evidence Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands these actions to demonstrate three points. One, a test for those who are believers. 2. A warning for those who are sinners. 3. A punishment from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to those who are disbelievers or cross his limits. As a believer, we cannot escape tests from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala strengthens the iman of our brothers and sisters who are being tested. As Muslims, we confirm that although we may not face the challenges of our brothers and sisters, we cannot forget that we also too will be tested. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَنَبْلُوَنَّكُمْ بِشَيْءٍ مِّنَ الْخَوْفِ وَالْجُوعِ وَنَقْصٍ مِّنَ الْأَمْوَالِ وَالْأَنفُسِ وَالثَّمَرَاتِ وَبَشِّرِ الصَّابِينَ Surah Al-Baqarah, Ayah 155 We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for our brothers and sisters to have patience and perseverance. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us that لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها. سورة البقرة آية 286. سورة التوبة آية 51. And those who persist through hardship are promised reward from Allah سبحانه وتعالى. وبشر الصابين. سورة البقرة آية 155. A warning for those who are sinners, the non-believers. Comfort and feeling of security are natural preferences for humans. This may lead to complacency in our actions to worship our Creator. Tragedies allow us to reflect on our past. It can shape our future. A chance to repent and realign ourselves with the guidance provided by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us, أَوَلَا يَرَوْنَ أَنَّهُمْ يُفْتَنُونَ فِي كُلِّ عَامٍ مَرَّةً أَوْ مَرَّتَيْنِ ثُمَّ لَا يَتُوبُونَ ثُمَّ لَا يَتُوبُونَ وَلَا هُمْ يَذَّكَّرُونَ سورة التوبة آية 126 a punishment from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to those who are either disbelievers or cross his limits. In today's society, punishment is viewed as consequences for a crime. Islam's view of misfortunes is a result of evil deeds that have been committed. Islam views punishment as a result of sin. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, <laughs> كسبت أيدي الناس ليذيقهم بعض الذي عملوا لعلهم يرجعون سورة الروم آية 41 Likewise, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most merciful. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وما أصابكم فَبِمَا كَسَبَتْ 
أيديكم ويعفو عن كثير. سورة آية 30 As Muslims, during these times of tragedy, we must increase our commitment to Islam through repentance, asking for forgiveness, steadfastness, and patience. The Deen One team sincerely offers the following dua and prayers. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help the Houston community during his cleanup efforts. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he have mercy for all those in the path of catastrophes worldwide, including those facing hurricanes in Florida. May Allah guide all his creations in harm's way to have piety, taqwa, perseverance, and patience. Ameen. We as individual Muslims should provide support in all forms as Islam requires us to plan for an emergency and help those hit with calamity. History reminds us that these calamities require great resources from governments to help all affected people regardless of background. Let's remember Ottoman Caliph Abdul Majid I who demonstrated the responsibility of the ruler under Islam to help the global community in need. In 1845, the onset of the Great Irish Famine resulted in over a million deaths. Ottoman Caliph Abdul Majid I declared his intention to send 10,000 sterling to Irish farmers, but Queen Victoria requested that the Sultan send only 1,000 sterling, because she had sent only 2,000 sterling herself. The Sultan sent the 1,000 sterling requested, but secretly sent three ships full of food. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness and help when we humbly request that you make the following dua. Bismillah. تضل بها من تشاء وتهدي من تشاء أنت ونينا فاغفر لنا وارحمنا وأنت خير الغافرين. Thank you for listening to this podcast. Podcasts on current events, Islamic guidance, Quran tafsir, and seerah are available at islampodcasts.com as well as on iTunes. Rate, review, and comment and let us know how we can grow in our knowledge to better serve our community. Please subscribe, share, and tell a friend about islampodcasts.com.